Ginny Lewis here from Northern State University, professor of German. A lot of the people in Brown County have German ancestry, and if you're one of those people, you may have some documents lurking around in your attic or maybe in your basement that you want to have access to. You would like to be able to understand what they mean. Some of them might look like this, and some of them, if they're handwritten, they'll look a little bit more like this. They may, pertain, they may contain a lot of valuable information that would be really meaningful to you or your family. So you want to be able to read those. This kind of writing is the printed style of German writing called Fraktur. Fraktur. And if you want to find out how to read this, you can go into Google. Just Google this word, Fraktur. In fact, you can go to Google Images and you can find pictures of Fraktur writing with the old Fraktur alphabet next to the modern alphabet. So you can figure out what the letters are that you're dealing with. The um, Kurrentschrift, this is probably the more interesting and the more difficult. So Kurrentschrift, kind of a long word, but there you go. You can Google that. Again, you can Google maybe Kurrentschrift with Decipher or Reading Kurrentschrift or Kurrentschrift with Ancestry and find lots of information on how to read it. You might find information from the Family History Center out of Utah. And Google Images, again, will give you alphabets, pictures, so that you can decipher this kind of beautiful handwriting that maybe your great-grandmother or your great-uncle from World War I was writing in. So, um, good luck in deciphering these documents. If you run into problems, feel free to contact us at Northern State University. My students may be able to help you. I may be able to help you. And we're also looking for people who have this kind of document to donate those or donate copies of those, make them available to the library electronically because genealogical researchers may have an interest in what you have and you may be able to find some things in the archives that you would be interested in. So you can make those documents available to us. We can make them electronically available. We can transcribe them. We can translate them. And the world will be a better place for it. Thank you for listening.